All right, so welcome to Lightroom. So today we're gonna to be going over a hidden little gem. So those of you who love to photograph architecture with 35 millimeter cameras, one of the problems that you might run into is that you don't actually own a tilt shift lens. So keeping vertical lines straight is pretty much near impossible. Most of us today can't afford a view camera with a digital back, so that's not gonna help. So we are going to rely on this feature within Lightroom to fix this. So what we're going to do is go down here to the transform. And within transform, we have a whole bunch of automated buttons. So I'm going to click auto. And so auto actually did a really good job of fixing this building. So in this case, that's probably all I need to do is all I had to do is come in here, click that one button and I'm, I'm good. We're going to skip guided for a second. I'm going to hit level, level didn't really do it. Vertical, vertical straighten out those lines, but it's making like too much, too bulbous here where auto didn't do that as much. And then full, yeah, that looks horrible. So the last one I'm going to show you here is guided. And in this image, I actually think auto works a little bit better, but the idea of this tutorial is to show you um, guided and uh, a lot of times when you're doing something manually uh, you get a little bit more accurate within Lightroom because um, you're telling it exactly what you want it to do so I'm gonna uh, in guided you're gonna automatically put the lines to show hey this is where I want it to be straight and oh my god it didn't work and that is because in guided you need a mat minimum of two lines to fix perspective so if I come in here and I put a second line in voila now it's done it now it's got this kind of bulbous look to it um, I can't come in here you notice these are not straight you can't put a third line you're gonna get this little invalid guideline because you can't put one inside two lines going the same direction I could either delete this one or keep this one but for now we'll get rid of it so I can come here and try to put another line going this way though because you can do a maximum of four lines within guided to fix perspective so that kind of shifted that over a little bit and then I can hit done and that is our building and it's been fixed and it worked okay I think if I did this version I would probably end up sending it over to Photoshop and use lens correction and sort of fix a few things in it I actually think auto was the way to go so auto uh, much 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 better so if we look at the beginning and then we come up here to auto yeah that looks wonderful so we will come over here to this building here and notice we have really crooked so I doubt this it looks like this building is falling over and landing on that building so if I click auto uh, it fixes it sort of it looks better than it did we'll try a level level even looks a whole lot better vertical so it's making these lines vertical and full and then guided so guided once again we could come in here and say hey these are the lines I want and so it's fixing that and straightening everything and I can hit done and then you would probably uh, want to come in here I'm not going to go into uh, cropping and stuff like that but uh, we could easily come in here and, and fill that with a content aware filter as well so I will make this vertical and then we'll just kind of come in here Oops. crop that good and so this is kind of a little bit uh, too big here this is another one where we can go into lens correction in Photoshop and easily fix that alright so the last one we have here is this little teeny building and this one should be pretty easy so we will slide on down and hit auto and auto did once again a pretty good job we'll hit guided now this building is obviously not probably perfectly straight because it's like a hundred years old 
but we're just gonna make an X and a Y axis here and say hey that's how I want that building to be straight put this one over here hit done and wonderful so we've gone from a little crooked building hey and there's nothing wrong with this building being crooked if this is how you want to leave it be sure you know feel free to leave it crooked um, you can straighten it out if that's the type of thing that bugs you and you can straighten this building out so hopefully that was helpful you learned a little bit about the transform function within Lightroom um, leave your comments and questions below and don't forget to subscribe